everyone welcome back to my channel good afternoon we are back home now the last time you guys saw me we were in the city for the anniversary the anniversary our anniversary i didn't vlog the second day because we spent the morning in times square well the afternoon and then we just headed home so i didn't really film but we went to this amazing restaurant in times square it's called dos caminos the food was so amazing like so amazing and then we got Krispy Kreme donuts and the experience was just so nice like everybody in Krispy Kreme was just so like such good customer service it was just a really pleasant experience and then we came home and we saw the cats and I had to edit and upload so that was that day but it is now Sunday again I'm not having my typical Sunday because we just went and celebrated and also last night we watched the Billie concert Billie Eilish had like a live um, concert virtually so we ordered like Italian food and we got baked ziti and a grandma pie and some bread and calzone and it was delicious but my body is like okay Alyssa like we need to eat a little bit healthier tonight so anyways I had a very busy morning this morning um so it's already like late afternoon so we're gonna get this ish done really quick because I want to come home and I want to cook some dinner and I want to get some pictures in the frames so we are driving to Islandia which is pretty far from me on Long Island uh we're going to Walmart because they had a photo printing center and it was like ready in an hour and I wanted to pick it up today so um we're finally gonna fill out the frames in the hallway and I have some other frames that I need to fill we have a few things that we also need from Walmart so I'm gonna try not to take super long in there but I definitely am going there just to pick up the photos but I made a list of a few things that we need so I'm excited it's like a Walmart super center so it's gonna be like really big and nice I haven't been to this location in a really long time so that is that I think that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about I'm in super comfy clothes this um sweater is from one of your guys' Instagram shops called Bees Tees. It's my absolute like favorite hoodie. It's just like a go-to. It's so comfy. She does like tie-dye stuff. That's where all my masks are from as well. Those two tie-dye ones that I wear, they're from her Instagram shop and I always link it down below when I'm wearing it. I try to remember at least. And then I'm just wearing like comfy sweatpants from Fabletics and my Vans. Hello. Okay. We're also doing another Halloween activity later tonight at 8 o'clock. They do this thing on Long Island where you like tour haunted places and stuff. Jerry was just showing me that you have to like get out of the car for one of them and go into a cemetery i'm like i'll stay in the car but i'll come for the experience so we'll see how that goes later since it's already almost four o'clock i want to get to walmart get home make dinner and then have time to go do that so we're gonna hurry on up we're gonna shut up now welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below before you go become part of the family i upload a lot of lifestyle content cleaning shopping cooking all of the above clothing also i know it seems like i've been doing a lot of shopping i definitely do a lot of shopping but let me just tell you guys this I use shopping as content and so it's very 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 rare that I go shopping without bringing you guys like you guys basically come on all my shopping trips once in a blue moon I'll go and not bring you guys so that's why you guys see it all the time because I think it's entertaining it's what I like to watch so if you guys get sick of it or bored of it just let me know <laughs> but I really only vlog about three times a week so I save my shopping for vlogging if that makes sense so that's why it seems like I'm shopping in every vlog I promise I'm I'm a shopaholic but I'm not that much of a shopaholic like I only go like once or twice a week. Okay, I said I was gonna shut up. All right, love you. See you at Walmart. It would actually be a great time to thank today's sponsor, which I am so excited about you guys. This is a really big one that I'm proud of. Today we're partnering with Toshiba, which is so cool. Talk about a cool brand to work with. So thank you so much to Toshiba for partnering with me on today's video. This one's very fitting, especially for now. We're talking air purifiers and Zayn and I have always like had one. It was like a little small one that to be honest is not good for the size of the rooms that we have in our apartment. So it was time Time for a little upgrade and when Toshiba reached out I was like okay perfect so here it is this is the Toshiba smart Wi-Fi purifier meaning it works with Alexa which you guys know I don't have but it works like literally like any other air purifier if you don't have Alexa but benefit if you do have an Alexa you can command her to turn it off it will indicate you when you need to change the filter and it's just like a Wi-Fi air purifier which is so cool but like I said if you don't have Alexa then you totally don't need it you just hit the buttons right on top and it works like a normal air purifier it just has the benefit of being Wi-Fi compatible. So let me show you the little features on top here. You've got your speed right here. You've got low, medium, and high. The low is the perfect dB for sleeping. And then you've got the filter reset and then the power button. It's very, very simple. It's even got instructions here to set the Wi-Fi and to reset the filter.
It is 27 inches tall and it's pretty slim, so it can fit really in any room. You can sit it next to the couch or anything of that sort. I've been moving it around rooms. We've had it in the living room, in the hallway, in the kitchen, and it really is just a simple sleek black design, so it's not gonna like intrude on any decor, you know? I know you guys are worried about that. <laughs> this covers 215 square foot, which is a medium to larger sized room. There are so many benefits to having an air purifier, you guys. Like I said, we have always had one. We just upgraded to a larger one, especially now during allergy season and also we're in a pandemic, so it's great for viruses, bacteria, and just like nasty stuff like that. I actually kept the box because it's got all the benefits on the side and I wanted to show you all of them. A few of these I already mentioned, but really quickly, it's got the UV LED light, which helps kill bacteria, viruses, and germs, like I just said. It's got the HEPA filter, which captures 99.97 of airborne allergens. It's also got the activated carbon filter, which helps reduce common household odors, which is a benefit that I really appreciate because you guys know I got three cats. So like I said, I will move this thing around and sometimes if I put it in the hallway, it's great for the cat litter scent. And and any just like regular odor like any that you have in the house it's really great for purifying the air literally so with all that being said i just love that this is a three-step purification it makes you feel like the air is really getting clean while it's on it goes through all of those different filters i probably just set off your alexis 500 times i apologize <laughs> so yeah you guys i highly recommend that you get an air purifier if you don't already own one it is great for dust for pollen for smoke any regular household odors like it's just an extra step to really keep your space clean and and it's just a good feeling, you know? So if you guys are interested and want to check it out, I will have all the information at the top of my description. We have made it, you guys. That drive honestly wasn't even bad. It was pretty smooth, got here pretty quickly. So that's good, no traffic, it's a Sunday. Although that means Walmart is packed, but here she is. There she is, everybody. I listened to um, We Bought a House, Claudia and Phineas' podcast, really, really good. I was enjoying that on the way here. Now we're gonna run inside, pick up the pictures. Let me tell you guys my other goals as well, really quickly. I always make a note of what I wanna get. Zane and I have a grocery note as well. I wanna try and find the vanilla jello powder because I wanna try and make that Starbucks drink and we'll also need like um, a can of pumpkin puree, but I know that that has been very scarce, so we'll see. Um, I need sweet Italian sausage. I wanna get some granola to make some acai bowls. We need almond milk, frozen broccoli, frozen peas, and we'll see if they have my um, popcorn bags, my little serving size bags. So we'll see. That is the goal. I'm excited. It's gonna be crowded though, so let's go. Agamil mask, baby. Entering the craziness. Hopefully it's not too crazy. All right, McDonald's, the ones by me have Subway. Yum. And the lines are massive. Okay. The lines are bad, but actual Walmart itself is not bad. Like the aisles are pretty empty. Although I'm by the clothing, so we'll see when I get by the food. All right, first I'm gonna go pick up the photos to make sure that we get them because that's my main point. So let's do that first. Hi, I ordered photos online. Okay, got the goods. I feel really bad because he went all over looking for it. I guess I should make sure that they're all in here. It was so funny, he was like looking through files and then he went to the back room and couldn't find it. And then I was like, what's that bag right behind you? And he was like, thank you. And I was like, am I hired? <laughs> got them all. One of them is the wrong way, but I don't care. It's fine, okay. Continuing on to get the food stuff and then we're out of here. I also found these two plain white masks that I thought were nice. They're only like $3.97. Guy just walked by and watched me talk to myself. That's awkward. <laughs> okay, you guys. It was actually a pretty pleasant Walmart experience. I got a I gotta say, although I didn't write it on the list and on the way here I remembered it and then I forgot what it was so I didn't write it down and I really needed butt wipes. <laughs> and I'm really sad that I didn't get any wipes. I saw them as I was checking out in the like self checkout line. I saw somebody had them in their cart and I was like, damn it, but I wasn't gonna get offline, go get them. Like I didn't do all that. We'll get them another day. I've got a little bit left of one pack. We'll see if we can make it work. <laughs> Also, somebody that worked there passed by me and he was like, I fucks with that sweater, that's nice. Or something like that. I fucks with that sweater hard. Or something like that. I was like, thanks. So, Brittany, if you're watching, somebody from Walmart complimented my sweater, so thanks. Very flattered. Okay, I'm gonna stop at Target just because it's on the way home. I wanna return those two pictures that I bought. If you watched the other vlog, those like navy blue pictures, I'm gonna return them. I'm gonna see if they have wipes there. And I wanna see if they have sweet Italian sausage for the recipe tonight. It's not a big deal if they don't, I'll just do without it. But um, I thought this Walmart would have meat and they just didn't. So 5.15, we're doing well. 
I were back at home. I stopped at Target. It started to get dark, started to get rainy, so we left at the perfect time. I did actually find the sausage, so we got the sweet Italian sausage right there for tonight's dinner. Couldn't find butt wipes, but it's fine. We'll move on. I digress. Order them on Amazon. All right, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I got from Walmart, and then we're gonna cook some dinner. It's been a while since we've cooked together. I'm excited. Oh, I also got this at um, Target. I got some more bubble bath because I ran out. They did have pumpkin. They had so much, but I was like, let me limit it to three. That's enough. So I got three cans of pumpkin. I got some Luna protein bars. I love those. I did find the vanilla Jello. I'm so excited. We're gonna try and make a drink. Got a can of corn, can of peas. I do like frozen peas better, but I was like, I just they don't really have these at little that often so I was like let me just have them for the pantry it's good for like crock pot recipes since we're gonna start doing a lot of crock pot soups and stuff like that I love a good crock pot meal in the fall and winter time and I got Zane an anniversary card I just thought it was like really sweet and cute so I grabbed that we already celebrated in the city but that was all Zane like that was my gift so um we still have our real anniversary to celebrate which is when I'm giving him his gifts so anyways I got two white just plain masks these seemed like nice and breathable and just plain white. I don't have one, so that's good. For Halloween, uh, Jerry asked me to bring a salad to the Halloween party, and I thought that these little tortilla strips would be good on the salad, so I grabbed those. This Walmart had a lot more selection than the one that I usually go to, and they had, like, crispy onions. They had the uh, crispy wontons that you can get on top of salad, too, so they had a lot of cool stuff like that. Um, I got these for Zane. I'm gonna put them with his gifts because he's been saying how bad he wants Doritos. I also got these for him. I've just been grabbing little things to put with his gifts. I think he's done now. I'm just waiting on two more things in the mail. I got some protein granola. I got some frozen broccoli, frozen peas, and then they didn't have my popcorn bags, but I'm going to start doing air pop popcorn again. So I got some seasonings, sour cream and onion, ranch, garlic parm. These two are my favorite. I don't, I've never tried this one, but I love sour cream and onion stuff. Got some light mayo. I decided to treat us to the nice fancy squeeze bottle. <laughs> We always get like the jars, but I was like, you know what? This would be so convenient. So I grabbed that and I got some fat-free ranch because I just need a backup. I love me some ranch. Okay, that's what we got from Walmart and um, we got the photos as well, but I'm thinking later on tonight we'll do like the photo stuff. They came out so nice. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, I'm so excited because tonight we are making a Skinny Taste Sicilian Rice Bowl Casserole. Ever since I came across this, I was like, oh, that looks amazing. I love me a good rice bowl. I am excited. So here's the ingredients. You're gonna need two cups of rice, salt, Italian sausage link, ground turkey, onion, pepper, frozen peas, tomato sauce, egg and egg white, parmesan or pecorino romano, cooking spray, breadcrumb, mozzarella, and then fresh parsley or basil if you want. And I feel like that's all pretty simple ingredients, so it's gonna be very easy. First things first, we're gonna get the rice set up. I got my rice in this little container, and we're doing two cups of uncooked, so let's get that started. Also, I was just gonna use whatever rice we had, but ours happens to be long grain, which is what she um, calls for, so that's good. I'm using my new measuring cups. I'm so excited. They're so nice. I love metal measuring cups. They just feel like so clean. I don't know how to describe it. All right, rice is going. We're going to measure out the meat. I have a bowl on the scale and we're doing, um, I believe it's just one, two and a half ounce sweet Italian sausage link. Okay, casing removed. I'm going to put my pan on a medium, get that heating up. 3.10. That's okay. We'll, we'll take that. It's a little bit more, but it's fine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put that into my pan. Now we're gonna weigh out the turkey. And for the turkey, we want 10 ounces, which this whole thing is 16 ounces. So I'm just gonna measure out to 10. All right, and that's it for meat. So take this off. All right, when the sausage starts to cook, we're gonna put in the turkey and it also calls for a quarter cup of onion. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit less than half of an onion. I feel like that's a quarter cup, but I like onion, so I don't really care if it's more. All right, we're breaking this up while it cooks. All right, now I'm gonna add in the turkey and the onions. Okay, so once that is pretty much done, you're gonna season with some salt and pepper. I'm putting it down to a low five ounces of frozen peas, one cup of sauce. Stir that all together. All right, top goes on, simmer it on low for 20 minutes. We're letting the rice cool and we are preheating the oven to 400. I want this rice to cool down so that I can make the mixture. So I'm gonna put it in the giant bowl and then we're gonna mix it with other things in here. Okay, things are simmering, things are cooling. We're gonna prep our baking dish. Just take some olive oil spray. I've never made this dish before, by the way, you guys. So hopefully it turns out good. This is a first timer. Covered at the bottom. 
two tablespoons of seasoned breadcrumbs to cover it. Now you've got them like that, you're gonna shake them around to cover the sides and everything. All right, there you go. So it should stick to the bottom of your pan, just like that. We're gonna give this a little stir. All right, I put the rice in the fridge to kind of speed up the process a little bit, so it's pretty much cooled. I'm adding a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We had a little bit of shredded and a little bit of grated, so I did that. One full egg, and then one egg white, which three tablespoons of carton egg white equals one. Half a cup of tomato sauce, and we're gonna mix it all together. And obviously after adding all of that in, it's gonna have like a kind of sticky consistency. It's all gonna like stick together. Very moldable because we're gonna mold it to the bottom of the baking dish. All right, there you have it. That's what it looks like. Bringing back our baking dish. And we're gonna add half of the rice. It says you can add more if necessary, but let's start with about half. It's like an Italian sticky rice. We can make Italian sushi rolls. Oh my God, that would be good. Now you're gonna go in and push it to form a layer at the bottom of the dish. Okay, I think I squished it a little too much, but it's fine. Now we're gonna add in the meat and peas. All right, three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese going on. We use the reduced fat one, spread that in. Him, oh, he's mad at you. Yeah. Okay, now the rest of the rice goes on. What can I help you with? Um, I was gonna say to cook that turkey up in this pan maybe, and then just put those sausages away. Then we're going with another half a cup of sauce. Just gonna lightly spread that on. Okay, another two tablespoons of seasoned breadcrumbs on top. And we're going in with another half a cup of mozz. You guys, this is gonna be amazing, oh my gosh. Rice ball casserole? Why have I never made this? So much easier than rice balls. Cover with foil. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Sure, 30 minutes. Starting now. Benji just wants all the attention today. You want attention? I love when he does that. He just does headbutts. You love headbutts. His purrs are so quiet compared to um, Bella and Bailey's. They purr so loud, whereas his are so quiet. Look, he just rests his head on me. He loves it. Oh, you're giving them love. Thank you. They love it. They want more headbutts. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, anything else? That's very nice of you. <laughs> Benji, you're such a gentleman. Showing everybody love. Oh my god, you're so cuddly right now. All right, I just cleaned up a little bit and that is baking. I want to show you guys the pictures. No, no, you're not allowed to touch those, Benji. All right, so we are filling some frames. You guys are crooked. And we're going to hang some stuff tonight as well. So those two pictures need to be hung. And then Zane had these in his office and he's like redecorating. Wow, pictures of me and him are not cool enough. You know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. He is like turning his space into something cool. So he's like, you can put these frames elsewhere in the apartment. And both of these photos, we already have this one right there. It might be a different, oh no, same picture. We already have this one. And then this one, I just don't like the coloring of. It's a little too orange in here. I like more neutral photos. And we have pictures from this photo shoot all above our bed as well. So I was like, we have so many pictures of Zane and I, and I was looking for pictures to fill these because these are two five by sevens. And I figured this would be cute. Since we have so many of Zane and I, I figured I would do one of me and my mom and then one of me and Zane's mom. I thought that's so cute, me and my moms, right? Okay. The only thing is this one of Jerry and I was supposed to print the other way. I must have like messed it up or something. It was supposed to be like this way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I can hang them however I want, but yeah. So they're gonna go in these frames. I thought that one was cute. And then me and my mom, I love this picture of us. This is from Mother's Day. And so that's what I'm gonna put in these two frames. I just thought that that was cute. How many times did I say I thought it was cute? I thought it was cute, okay? All right, what else we got here? Okay, I had this random frame that I had gotten as a gift from Zane's mom, and it's four by, oh, four by six? Yeah, I think that's what these are. I think I got the right size. Um, three four by sixes. Oh, I'm just realizing that I could have hung it this way. That would have been cute, but I got pictures that go this way. So we're gonna put this somewhere. I had that up for so long with literally those like stock images in it. So we printed three. We got me, my little Bailey, 
Oh, so cute. Then we got another one of Zane and I. We just thought that this one was fun. We picked these photos together. We were like, yeah, let's put like a fun one of us like laughing and stuff. So it's just a mirror selfie, but it's a cute little, hi Bailey, <laughs> cute little photo. And then I also chose this one from, uh, I don't remember what this was from, but it's just another one of us cute, like laughing and smiling. And um, I thought that the three of these would look good together. Like how cute are those? Oh my God, I love it. It's like my Instagram feed in real life. Okay, and lastly for these mini pictures, I know you guys are probably like, I just want to see the giant ones that you've been talking about these damn frames for so long. Um, we have a bunch of these square frames. This one is the odd man out. It's got like this little like detailing on it. The other three I bought together, but I wanted to upgrade the photos in it. So I did one of the three of them. That's going to go in like the unique frame at the top. I just thought this one was funny. I don't really have like perfect pictures of the three of them but I thought that one was pretty cute. Then we've got an adorable one of Bella by herself, cuddled in a blanket, so cute. Miss Bailey Boo, love. And then I did one of Benji and Bailey. I know it's kind of rude that I didn't do Benji by himself, but this one's just so cute. I just love it. So yeah, I'm gonna fill out these four frames with those, and then here we go. Babe, perfect timing. What? I'm about to show them the giant ones. You wanna see how they printed? Oh yeah. These are the frames that we got, 16 by 20, and then we got mats on the inside for a 10 by 13 photo. I had to get them 11 by 14 because I didn't make 10 by 13 prints. I don't know why, but here we go. We did them from our shoot that we just did for outside in the backyard. So here's one of them. Oh shit. This is like, That's beautiful. this one is focused on the fire. I thought that one would be really pretty. Wow, these printed amazing. Look at this. What uh, company did you use? It printed to Walmart, but they oh, use like a third party company. I don't know. Damn, those came out really nice. One of us smiling at each other. I feel like I did the black and white pretty well. Yeah, no, it looks great. And these are technically posters, not photos. They didn't do photos this big. I don't know, it was very confusing. Then we did one of just our hands together. Very aesthetically pleasing. And then this last one of us cuddling up. That's my favorite. Mm hmm. So pretty. This one came out a little darker for some reason. But that's okay. We can always like reprint them. I love it. Came out awesome. I can't wait to put them all in the frames, oh my gosh. First, I wanna eat dinner because it's almost done. And I need some fuel in me before I do that. And um, actually our plans tonight got canceled because it's raining and just the activity didn't work out. And so it actually works out. Now we get to chill at home, do the frames. That would've been fun Halloween activity, but it's okay, I'm not a big Halloween person anyway. All right, I just did the dishes really fast and it just came out of the oven and we're gonna do a little reveal. Wow. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna top with some basil. <laughs> basil, we don't have very much, but make do with what we got. I grew this basil in my window, you guys. <laughs> Pretty cool. So I decided, by the way, I'm down to do something like food wise for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, I already was want, going to by myself, even if you didn't want to. He wanted to not eat something delicious on our real anniversary because we already went to the city. No, something delicious, but not like over the top. Like, what is what? What? Something that you can track? That's the fun but, of going out to eat is eating something that's. Wait, I was gonna ask you do you wanna do the thing where you surprise me or do you wanna go in a restaurant? I'm gonna surprise you. Let yeah? Me, yeah, let me find somewhere cool. Okay. Okay. Look at that. <clears throat> There's no way that this isn't good. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Too if many any good ingredients. If anything, I think it will probably need salt, but that's fine. Always better to under salt than ruin a whole dish. That's true. Okay. I'm so hungry. Let's do it. I had a turkey sandwich at like one o'clock and it's 8.20. Mm. We're eating a late dinner. What? Really good. Exactly what I expected. Like a rice ball. In the best way, yeah. It tastes so similar to a rice ball. Oh yeah, that's bomb. Cha-ching! This is probably so much easier to make than a rice ball too. You gotta form them and stuff them. Um, yeah. It's almost like a rice lasagna. Kinda, right? That's what it looks like. A deconstructed rice ball. I'm here for it. Delish. It was really comforting. Perfect. On a rainy, cold night. Yeah, <clears throat> rainy and crappy. By the way, you guys, the thing that we were going to do, I don't know if I explained it in depth, but it was going to be like going around to haunted places on Long Island. I think I did say that. 
and um well, i think i did explain this the, the first one you were supposed to get out of the cemetery i'm like i'm not gonna do that i'll stay in the car and then zane watched the video just a few minutes ago and he was like i'm not doing that so we're gonna reschedule and just like hang out as a family instead of yeah. going and doing that i don't like scary things me either call me the p word whatever but <laughs> i'll probably take that badge and do something scary unless i actually have to like if it's just if it's life or death or something mm -hmm. but for my entertainment yeah it's just not our thing I got my second serving right here. Zane and I were showing each other our likes on TikTok and just laughing. And now Zane's playing video games and I know we're gonna do the frames, but like you ever just wanna, you ever just wanna go like this? Oh my God, so comfy, so comfy. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and give me the strength to get up after and do the frames. You wanna snuggle? And cuddle and watch YouTube. We're starting to get to those nights here where it's like actually chilly where you just want to like snuggle up in a blanket and eat something warm. This is really good by the way you guys. Highly recommend. It's so hearty too like a lot of food and a lot of rice. It's just so comforting. Anyways. Okay I'm gonna relax for a little and then we'll do the frames. It got so my stomach. It got so late in the day that now I'm like crashing but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hi. Look how freaking cute this cat is. Bailey, did we save you from a bush? Are you so grateful? She's getting so soft, you guys. Like, her fur feels so soft. It's like Benj. Bailey, are you so happy? Let me get some light on your face. There we go. Are you so happy that we saved you from the bush because you'd be so cold outside by your shell? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I know I let you down. I made the same mistake. I am the worrying kind, resting my life away Be here, you know I really want you to stay Later, when you then go, you will somehow still remain Okay, everyone, the cats have been hanging out with me. I just did three of them. I wanted to do all three before I showed you exactly what I do, get really like the hang of it. I was catching up on Carly and Erin. I love their channel. I think they're like the sweetest, most just entertaining humans. I don't know, I just love them, they're adorable. Anyways, here's how it's looking so far. I am so happy with this. I think when they're all up, all next to each other, it's gonna look sick, but let me show you how I'm doing it. All right, Zane's playing video games, so if you hear I'm talking, then it's just, it's just that. So, the frames that I'm using are these poster frames from Walmart. They're plastic, they're not glass, but they were literally like, I think 10 or $12 each? But they're 16 by 20, so they're massive, and then I ordered online from Michaels these mats to go in the frame. So these are a 16 by 20 frame, and then in the inside they're a 10 by 13 photo. And then to get these giant pictures printed, I did a poster, and I printed them to Walmart. These are 11 by 14, and I could have printed them to like CVS Walgreens or whatever, but Walmart had like a one hour print thing, so it was really hard to find somewhere that would print pictures this large and they didn't have 10 by 13 anywhere so i had to do the 11 by 14 but it's fine it just gets cut off like a tiny bit it's not a big deal because there's some dead space around us but yeah so i got those printed and these um because they're considered a poster were a little more expensive so all the pictures together were like 30 bucks but i think it's gonna be worth it and i'm honestly proud of myself because usually i wouldn't have patience for things like this i would rather just like buy the frame that already has these mats in it but i feel like i'm, I'm doing pretty well here and these are like six dollars each michael's always has coupons so i got like 20% like off or something like that. So, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. <laughs> Opening the frame, then I'm using a butter knife to put up the edges. 
the cats play in the paper. <laughs> I'm exhausted by the way, I feel like a zombie. I definitely fell asleep for a little bit on the couch and I just sat there for way too long. So now I'm like a zombie. I'm not gonna put these up tonight. I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow. You're gonna see it in literally a few minutes because I'm just gonna be in this video. I don't wanna make loud noises banging these on the wall and I'm just too tired to even comprehend how to hang these right now. Okay, so I'm taking the frame and I'm putting it in here the way it's supposed to go. Ow, damn it. The border, I don't know, what are these called? The mat, sorry. And then I'm taking the photo, and this one has like a lot of dead space around it, so I'm just gonna try and make it as centered as possible. And I don't have scotch tape, so I'm using, well, I mean like little scotch tape. I'm using packing tape instead of like regular scotch tape. And I'm just putting a piece on each corner. Thank you, Bench. I think this tape is actually good because it's so strong and these photos are like super thick. I thought because it was a poster it was gonna be like thin, but it's actually like, I don't know, like photo material. I guess maybe they just call the bigger photos posters even though they're like still photos. I'm delusional at this point. It's late. Okay, we're gonna check. <gasps> Looks beautiful. Then we take the piece of cardboard, put it back on. Somehow it never fits the same as it did. We don't know why. <laughs> why does it do that? Of course, the one I show you guys gives me the hard time. Then we push them down. Okay, and then moment of truth. Yay! That one's actually a little off-centered, but do we care? Not really. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the little ones really quick. Smells will only make us laugh. So find me at the rainbow's end, and we climb right up to the top again. Champagne on a Tuesday. Sometimes I can feel your lips on mine Lovers be lost but we will stay on a solid ground This time it is for real in another way Will you be my own? Here we go. I'm gonna add a like metal table here, I think, like a long hallway table and just like decorate it. But here they are. They aren't perfect, but we did it by eye and I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh, I think we picked the perfect pictures. They just look so good. And then we moved the mirror that was right here to this wall and I think it looks good as well. Especially if you're standing in this mirror, you have it all behind you, so I think it looks pretty cool. So love that. This I am very iffy about. You guys will let me know how you feel. I think it's uh, it's cool, but it might be a little bit cheesy. I don't know. I obviously need to add decor to the table and I wanna get a new key hook, maybe a black metal one to pull it all together. I don't know. I'm having such trouble over here, but I love the hallway. I think it looks amazing. It fills the space really well. I also did the cats over here. So we have the three of them and then all their little pictures down here. It looks so cute. I might replace the one of Bailey. I feel like it doesn't match very well, but very cute. And then in here, we just put these two pictures. I have yet to find a place for this one and that one of my mom and I, but it's all a work in progress. And yeah, I think that's about it for today. Look at these babies. Are you crossing your paws? Are you so posh? Bailey Boo?
I love you. My god, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold. By the way, just posted two new TikToks if you guys are interested. I had them in my drafts for so- why is everything echoing? We didn't take out anything crazy. I had two TikToks in my drafts for so long and finally got them up, so wanna go check them out. I really wanna start branching out into TikTok. I don't know why, I just like, I want to, I have ideas and I just like don't execute them, so we're gonna get on that. <laughs> All right, today's notification shout out goes to Brianna Nicole. She says, notification squad, you are so underrated. I watch all your videos and you should have a million subscribers. Thank you so much. Question, if you go to New York City during a time, when would you go? Fall, winter, spring, summer, or during holidays? I would go anytime and let me tell you why. Because there is different things to do and there's pros and cons to all of it. Personally, when Zane and I just went, you guys saw that vlog, fall time. It was so beautiful. It was the perfect weather. It wasn't too hot. In the summer, it gets really hot. In the winter, it's very, very cold. However, in the winter, you have um, Rockefeller Center. You have the Christmas tree. Uh, obviously, not this year with COVID. I don't even think they're doing the Christmas tree, which sucks. You have, like, the Christmas vibes. You can go to Macy's. Like, there's so much in, like, the holiday time. And then the summer, you can do, like, more activities. You can do the open bus tours. You can just walk around more freely rather than freezing your ass off. I would say if you want that magical movie feel, then go during Christmas time. Again, probably next year. And if you want those like summer vibes, then obviously go during summer. But I really liked it just when we went in fall. It was really, really beautiful weather. I mean, it wasn't sunny, but it was like perfect temperature, you know? Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for having on your notifications. I look like a bum right now. If anybody else would like a notification shout out, comment down below, letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I know I let you down I made the same mistake I am the one